Hello and welcome back. Mike with Disc Golf Fan Life bringing you the back 12 coverage of the final round at the 2022 Jacksonville Open. Presented by BorazMD.com. And your lead card for the final round, we have Aaron Doyle sitting at 20 under, currently our leader. And Brandon Hallsworth at 17 under in second place. Next, we have Brandon Compagen at 15 under, and rounding off the card is Peter Van Brussel at 12 under. Joining me again is Tournament Director Daniel Alexander. Going on, man. Glad to be back. Yeah, I can't wait for the back 12 to finish off the 2022 Jacksonville Open. Glad to see at the conclusion. Uh, I'm going to start off here on hole 10. 375 feet, par 3, elevated basket over the water, the right hand backhand. Oh yeah, he's been getting that closer and closer each day. Mm -hmm. Brandon Coppingen coming up next, finished off his uh, front half with a birdie. See if we can do something with the back. Good flex shot. Of Hill in the uh, gallery rooting him on. I think no matter what event we have, AMs or pros this week, at this uh, hole always gets some uh, good love. Here's uh -oh. a little turnover. Gotta stay up. He makes it across. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I mean, this whole, uh, you know, positioned right there by all the vendors in the parking lot makes for a great gallery. Oh, for sure. Brent Hallsworth up next. Oh, sails past the basket, yeah, but he's he up long. top. Yeah. Throwing at hole 11. Hit, hitting the chase card. <laughs> Little shot there, four palms. Brandon just gonna kind of lay up, take his three. Yeah, this was my first time up uh, to the course, and like I said earlier, uh, you put on a great tournament and I had a great weekend all three days. Appreciate it, man. Peter trying to run that one. Elevated basket, man. That kind of risk reward situation. Got the little bit of a tough comeback. Good putt by Brandon. Take his uh, par. Move on the hole 11. Peter at a similar distance here. A little bit more of a death putt, though. He had a water behind it. Doesn't matter for these guys. They get, in the, get their scrambles. Yeah, wind was not... Getting in their head for that one. Mm -hmm. Brandon Coppingen trying to continue that birdie streak from the uh, hole nine. Great drive. Yeah, great drive. It's always cool to see guys throw that uh, turnover shot compared to all the swooping, the big hyzer. And uh, he capitalizes. Great birdie, Brandon. Like you said, Aaron, uh, getting closer and closer each round. See if he can get the birdie on this one today. He does. Pads his lead a little bit. Let's move on to hole number 11. It's going to be 325 foot, par 3. And the bat's still even a little more right than it was the pre previous days, so that Mando definitely comes into play more here on this final round. Clip the trees just a little bit. A little bit of uphill off the tee box. Uh, we call that our, our uh, Florida elevation, shall we say. 
it makes it a little tricky to get the distance you want here. Yeah, that five degrees of elevation. Hmm. Going with the forehand. Yeah. Oh. Unlucky kick. Say that's a good play to miss that Mando. I think he. I don't know if he made the Mando, but I don't think he missed it yet. Did he get through. He did get through. Oh. He fought back. Awesome. But that tree actually probably helped him actually hides her hides her back in the fairway. Brandon Hallsworth up here next. Oh no. Oh no. Brandon unfortunately did miss the Mando. He'll have to go to the drop zone. We'll see a little bit of magic out of him. He does park it though. Minimize the damage, only take a bogey. The cop and Jen have a possible run for a birdie here. Came out his hands early, a little wide. Yeah. Wind you can't tell. Up. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. There it is. We had to talk about it. All right, Peter will take his three. Move on. Aaron with the best drive of the bunch. Still a outside circle putt though. We got a few tap ins here for pars. And one bogey by Mr. Hallsworth, who unfortunately missed the Mando. So yeah, that that will, uh, unfortunate release out of his hands there off the drive. Take us, though, to uh, hole number 12. Hole 12 today, though. Another par 3. So, a little to the left side. Uh, 452 feet, though. So, it's definitely a long one. And throwing a little turnover. It's a nice rip on it. Yeah. That little bit of a hill there near the green definitely uh, takes any ground play out. Unless you're throwing like a big swooping hyzer of some sort. And Coppingen coming up next. Doesn't look he doesn't like it out of his hands, but no. it's fighting back. Definitely turned over on him, but yeah. And that's not actually that's not bad. No, I definitely fought back out through that tree line. I mean it's it's a dangerous then you're trying to take over there. Um, it's a decent landing spot. Peter up next. Get a little bit of turn on his also. Got a little tree kick at the end there. I think he's in a similar spot. He's got a cop engine. Brandon Hallsworth. He definitely has the power to get there. A little bit high on this one. Oh. Unlucky. I will say this green is going to be uh, super tough once these trees grow in a little bit more. That's yeah, going to be nice coming back here in the future. Yeah. See what you guys do with the place. Yeah, props to the city of Jacksonville for getting with us and helping us plant these trees in the certain locations that are helpful 
to uh, our sport, but also the park as well. It's always nice when you got them uh, talking to you to work together for all parties involved. Oh, yeah. It seems cities all across the country have been really picking it up as far as helping the disc golf community grow and expand. Brandon Hallsworth has a little bit of a tester comeback here for his par. Fortunately, a little heavy on the strong side. Peter cleans up his par. Aldorth will make a bogey, unfortunately. We got two tap ins here for uh, Coppingen and Aaron. It'll move us on to hole 13. Hole 13, back to playing the par 4 today. Um, it's a little farther, though, 523 feet. But again, you got those double mandos down there. It's a pretty good pull. It's around the trees? Yes. That's a solid spot. It's about the same spot as it was uh, round 1. Yeah, I don't think he was as left as that, but he's definitely left side of the mandos. Oh no. Gets hit by the tree limbs. I think that might have helped him though. That was uh, definitely turning over out of his hand. That is OB on that right side over those fences. Peter keeping something low. Get some good ground play here. The way to throw it, man. I usually tell myself when I play this hole, trying to get too cute and. Throw the same drive you'd throw to the par 3 pin. That's a good spot usually to be. Brandon gets a little lower. You got a double skip here. Yeah, some really good ground play on that one. Yep, and he pretty much parked the par 3 pin, so he must have been listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is one of those things where you really got to think. Is it going to go through go for that uh, Mando's, your second shot? He goes These for guys. It. Oh, it's unfortunate. He did miss that Mando left. Ooh. Hugged it too close to the left side. Mm -hmm. Aaron not, not as close to the Mandos today, but definitely the same angle like you said. Buy some sort of ground play again, shot for him. Skips and it a little long. Peter with a nice little putter toss up there. Let's see if he can save this from the drop zone. Good bid, but we can have to take a bogey there. He wanted that one, hat flying mm -hmm. off and everything. Good bid for Hallsworth. No, definitely wanted that one. Keep pace. Yeah, it's a bit of a tester putt here for his birdie look. And dicks it. Great putt, Aaron. Great putt. Peter looking for a birdie as well. 
Not as dramatic from this distance, but still got to execute. And he does. Hallsworth here, similar distance to Peter. He'll get his par. Fortunately, Coppinjan will have to take a bogey. But it's on the hole 14. It's in a par 3, 425 feet today. So pretty much straight ahead and a little on a hill. So kind of want to go for that gap straight ahead, as you see. And get something to hook up left at the very end. Pretty much just like Aaron's throwing. That's a great shot. A little bit of a skip. Oh, wow. Yeah. Died a little early on him, but he's still going to have a look for that, uh, that birdie putt. It is hard to get enough uh, ground play to get up that hill. So Peter Turner went over early. Looks like he came out of the bushes, but... I'll have a tough look over there. Fallsworth. It's a great shot. Get under the trees. And oh, yep. If he would have got the same ground play Aaron got, he might have mm -hmm. been parked. Yep. He still have a good uh Brady look though. And Django with the forehand. Just got too much Annie out of the out of the hand. A little too much turn on that one. I I gotta say I loved filming Peter this whole round. Him in his bag. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Definitely a carefree my type of guy. Coppinjan going with the forehand approach shot. Almost threw it in there. Fortunate spot to be in right there. He's got to go over this. It's a tough, tough look. Oh. When you run it heavy like that, he's going to have a hard comeback for his bogey look. Aaron, though, with a good birdie tester putt here. A little bit of a death putt because it does fall off behind you. Doesn't matter though for Aaron Doyle. He is on fire right now. Great putt. Yeah, he is putting the gas or put <laughs> putting the <laughs> pedal to the floor right now. Yeah, pretty much, man. Hallsworth though, trying to keep pace. He's got a birdie look here as well. And he gets it. Yeah, good putt and good drive by Mr. Hallsworth. Up and Jan trying to save his par. And he does. Three great putts for those guys out there. Stop. For Peter. There's a little bit of elevation. It always, for me, gets. I can't find where I get hounded my, my footing to be. I think you get the follow through. Correct. That, and if you hit the basket, you possibly roll away. Yep. There you go, Peter. Ready to clean it up. Fortunately, you will have to take a five there. But there's still a good amount of golf left. Moving on to hole 15. 
going to be a 315 foot shot. Basket's a little more left than it's been the previous two days. So definitely you'll see this line. I want to get a little bit more turn than that, but let's have a look at the basket. This being one of the shorter holes we have here on the course. Yeah, it's going to be a tough look. You got OB right behind the basket. Mm hmm. Good chance for these guys, though, to uh, capitalize on Aaron not being fully dialed in on that tee shot. So Brandon was good. On the trailing right at oh, the basket. Oh, right to the tree. Oh, that's unfortunate. Brandon Coppingen going with the forehand shot. Yeah, I love having him on coverage today. Getting to see the forehands on almost every hole. Yeah, I dig it. Slow down, slow down. Uh, it stays in bounds. Very good. Peter trying to get back on track here after that unfortunate double. Like he's going forehand as well. That's a good line. Yeah, going more for the Spike Heiser. Mm -hmm. I dig it. Put him in a good spot to hopefully capitalize and get a par or get a birdie. Very Nothing. long bid right here. Yeah, it's, it's uh. Definitely trees obstructing clean putts over there also. Ooh. Does Nick metal. A little low. All's worth of the death putt here. Say the OB road is about 25, 20 feet. Not short on distractions with the road behind it, too. Nope. It's definitely tough to get a, a clean putt here without cars driving by, so. Oh, good bid, though. That's a, not as much of a worry on that, OB, but still got to play it smart. Up and down. It sits. We'll take his par, though. Peter coming up here for his uh, birdie attempt after his great drive. Great birdie, great putt. So uh, hole 15, the uh, average came in as the uh, fourth easiest hole of the round, 2.79 with a uh, 24% birdie chance, so Peter doing his part to uh, help make that stat correct. Yeah, great birdie, Peter. A few tap-ins for uh, par here, and we will move on to uh, hole D. Uh, you had hole D being the longest one for the tournament, right? Yeah, hole D will be our longest hole of the uh, event. It's going to be a uh, par 4, uh, 759 feet. Peter leading us off. It's a pretty good looking drive. About to hit the catch cam. <laughs> like like it was on the first day, you got the OB left and the OB right, and then you also got two mandos on the left hand side you gotta worry about. So it's a tight fairway to hit. Aaron playing the aggressive good. line. It's gotta sit gotta sit. Gotta sit. That's good. That's it, yep. I see, we'll say that's the ideal shot, really. You want to uh, flirt with that OB left as much as possible. Give yourself a clean uh, look. Like uh, Mr. Brandon Hallsworth here. Take the hat off. Gonna go full send mode. Well, maybe puts a little too much power on it. It's turned over on him. Definitely turned over on him. I mean, that is an is OB. It? Yeah, it doesn't seem to fight back. Brandon Coppingen going with the forehand look here.
you know. Turns over on him, but. Hallsworth here marking his lie. He's still a good 400 out from the basket, so. Got a lot of work to do if he wants to save this par. Keeping it out wide. Is that the hyzer route? Oh, no. Gets caught up in the trees. Ooh, I think that stays in bounds, actually. I think he is in bounds, but didn't get the ground player. This move that he wanted. He's lucky because he bounced on the path. Cop engine here has to get past this Mando still. The tree. Oh, a little bit of that tree and still got through. And then you see here, Aaron, this is in the ideal spot to play a pretty much a right hand backhand hyzer at the basket here. Oh, yeah. That is a great looking shot. Get in. Wow. <laughs> Very aggressive. Very aggressive from our current leader. Almost goes OB at the end there. Oh. Mickey will have a, a good look, though, for uh, for Birdie. Peter trying to follow suit. Oh, no. He's at... Oh. Oh, is he out of bounds? Oh, he stayed in. Appreciate my volunteers there. Yeah, they were all doing a great job all weekend. Appreciate you guys. Ooh. Great run by Hallsworth. Definitely was a little aggressive on that shot, trying to uh, save that par. But I don't think a bogey it looks like, unfortunately. Peter somehow staying in bounds over here. He's flirting with the OB again. <laughs> One of those angles that uh, definitely isn't approached very often. Coppingen gets a little outright. Have a look though for his uh bogey putt. Sort of Peter with the par look here. Lucky par testing that OB twice in a row. Oh, just off the weak side. A little bit of a death putt here. Oh, he's at the set. Pretty sure that did right there on the edge. Looks like Mr. Aaron Doyle gonna come up here and uh, have a great look for a birdie. Great stuff. Hole D here, playing as the uh, third hardest hole of the day. Average at 4.55. 9% birdie chance. Only three guys, Aaron being one of them. Congrats to him. Yeah, it's a tough one to get because to get the power to get that birdie, you got to test the OB just like Aaron did. Yeah, like I said, it's kind of that risk reward situation. So, uh, for your current leader to. You know, be that aggressive on the tee box. You know, props to him for not letting the score dictate his play. He's definitely dialed in right now, and it's awesome to see. Moving on to what, hole E. 326 feet. Same location we played yesterday, except we did elevate it today. Going with a turnover shot. Wow. He didn't like that coming out of his hands, but uh, hooked up there at the end and floated right down and giving him a nice look at the basket. Definitely landed in the good spot where that gap is, but I guess if you're trying to penetrate the woods and get in there, it's uh, definitely tough to do on that right-hand turnover. Peter with the forehand. Gets him in a good one of the, one of the two alleys, as I say, the basket. Backhand also. Yeah, I think he's trying that high 
routed air and took. Comes in just a little early. Knocked down by that big guardian limb. Drop engine with the, the flick. A little high, but lands in a good alley too. There is another alley. You can't kind of can see it right here, but it, it's a really narrow gap <laughs> on the right hand side. I've uh, it's not as probably likely to hit from the blue pad, but uh, from the white and the red pad, it's some guys do try to throw that one. Brandon here is gonna make his own alley. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't got much, that's for sure. A lot of trees between them in the basket. Oh. He almost threw it in. I don't know how he got through all that. Aaron just a little left of that alley. Play a little hyzer putt in there, a little half run. Take his three and move on. Brandon Cop is not happy with that one. Yeah, see if Peter learned anything from that. Get this birdie in. Yeah. Great jump putt. Great execution. Yeah. yeah, he's really he's got a really good jump putt actually. Brandon Cop and general Take his par, and looks like we got uh, two other par looks here. Aaron didn't want to mess around with that elevated basket. You don't need no trampolines down there. <laughs> Moving on to hole F. Another par four. 686 feet, and you got OB left and OB right, and also Mando to worry about left-hand side. Oh, yeah. Peter, crushing that drive, guys. All right. Great pull. Yeah, it looks like he made it uh, all the way up to that corner as yeah, a good look like at the basket. Like he, he's right at, if not already made the Mando off his drive, so great pull by Pete. Aaron with a little right-hand backhand turnover shot. Put him in a clean spot, right near where the par three pin is. Oh, Brandon. Hyzer route, it looks like. Hallsworth with a monster crush. Five. Great shot. Great pull. Like Brandon Coppingen going with the backhand here. Oh, that's a little high on him. That needs to sit down. Ooh. That's going to be OB. Pretty good spot here. Probably say a little over 300 out from the basket. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, well, it was a good shot either way. Yeah, it looked like he was trailing the hole too. He he got a little high and hit some limbs early. And trying to figure out how he wants to get around this. In that Mando there, so you got to get through. It's a good recovery shot. Peter with again a crush of a drive. It's a good upshot. Very you will see guys uh, not really running this as much. 
second shot because if you do have that OB behind the basket, that I'll try to not not flirt with if possible. And like you can tell here, Brandon Hallsworth was just a crush of a drive. And he was testing that OB you're talking he about. He was. He was. Yeah. But he's one OB on his drive. Make a bogey here, it looks like. And trying to get a birdie. That one just didn't come out of his hand good, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, all weekend he's been putting, his putting's been on fire, so. Mm -hmm. Gotta miss one every now and then. Well, again, he's missing for a birdie, too. Still has a chance to get his par. I always feel like you're playing good golf when you your your misses you know you're missing on birdie looks compared to uh, trying to scramble for par a lot. All's worth here though, trying to capitalize on that. Great birdie for him. Play the hole pretty much best you could there. Him and Peter are both honestly very similar. Similar, so hopefully uh Peter here can get a birdie as well. He does. His par, we move on to hole 16. Brandon Coppingen having to take a bogey, unfortunately. Move it on to hole 16. It's in a par four pin today, 682 feet. And this is a uh, pin we only really use uh, for the JO, maybe other events, but it's uh, definitely a treat to watch these guys play it. It's something the locals love to uh, come out here and play themselves. Peter with a pretty solid drive to start us off. A little hindered by that bush, but uh, have a look still. All We're gonna take going it down the left side. Yep. Yeah, this Mando I feel like is mostly in play for this pen. Oh, turnover, turnover. It's still a good roller. You're coming up. Hitting a good clean line. Just smashes it. Come on. Good skip. Good skip. And great spot. Pretty much parked the par 3 pin, so that's a pretty ideal spot to be in. Brandon Coppingen going with the forehand again. There you go, Brandon. Good shot also, yep. I think that's the flick he's been trying to do the past few holes. Came out real nice. Good to see him finally get one dialed in here on a longer hole. Peter with a pretty good landing spot, actually. Thought he'd be more hindered by that uh, bush. Solid second shot by Pete. Like Brandon Coppingen. And like more of a skip shot out there for a second shot. Gets a oh, wow. good ground play. And that's pretty much a drop in for a birdie. That's a great, great shot. Right. Aaron throwing a little more of a floater, looks like with a putter. And, well, saying whatever you can do, I can do better, buddy. <laughs> right. Let's see if Brandon Hallsworth can just put it in then. Right. Little long, little left. Not a tester putt, but still look for birdie. Oh. I think we might have a star frame here on hole 16, guys. 
got is that the uh, the first or second one of this coverage all tournament. I'm not keeping track, but I don't remember many of them. Uh, I think we might have had one the first round. If you guys didn't already check that out, you should check out the round one and round two leading up to this. Yeah, definitely. Great star frame to get, guys, though. Props to all those guys playing that hole great. Move on to hole uh, 17. 394 feet, par 3. Pretty much straight ahead today. Um, definitely a lot more of a guarded green here. Peter with a pretty good pull, a little right of the basket, but should be kind of a unobstructed second shot for him. Throwing a little low. Ouch. One of the only errant drives of the tournament for Aaron. Brandon trying to decide what he wants to do with this hole. Oh, yeah. Pretty nice. Oh, that's really good. Great drive, Brandon. Great drive. Brandon Coppinjan going with the, the backhand. I think he gets this one down good, too. It's a good play. He went a little long, but look how deep he got in the woods. He's, he still have a look. I'm trying to scramble here, get this close as he can. He got the putt from a knee, it looks like. Thought he was a little away from the tree. He couldn't capitalize that one to keep his birdie streak going, but still he's finished on the last few holes pretty hot. Brandon here got a little deep. and uh, Definitely a tough look from back there. Oh, full power. <laughs> I appreciate the effort there, buddy. Yeah. That would have been awesome to get. Trying to get his uh his birdie. Uh, fortunately can't capitalize there on that one. It's a beautiful drive. I give a shout out to our uh J O winner last year, Mr. Kevin Keeper the third. He had a uh, amazing putt on this hole to follow around to uh, push the event to a playoff to watch it in person. It was awesome to see. Yeah, I filmed him a couple of times. Always awesome. good. Got a few putts here to move on to the final hole <laughs> of the tournament. And yeah, Brandon, both Brandons won that one. Feel that, guys. Have a little fun there. Good game, everybody. Appreciate you, man, doing the uh, video coverage, spending the weekend out here with us in the tournament. Thanks for yeah. having me. It's been enjoyable doing the commentary here with you too, man. But we'll uh, wrap it up here on hole 18, playing the par four pin today. 656 feet. Finishing off strong. Oh, wow, Pete he got the full flight of that. Yeah, Pete's somehow getting out there. Yeah, this is one of those holes where Tee box, you're pretty guarded. You can't really feel any wind. So you really got to kind of pay attention to that flag down there or any of the limbs blowing just to see what uh, 
what you got to deal with out of this first 150 foot gap. Going with the roller. Oh. Brandon he Hallsworth trying... hitting the tree early, unfortunately. Yeah, he's trying to get some big distance with that one. Mm -hmm. If anybody can, it's him. That is for sure. Aaron playing that turnover shot. Flexing nicely. That's about the spot he's been going every every round. Yeah, a little close to those trees, but they're not very congested. He should have a lot of lines to look at still for his next shot. Brandon Coppingen with a smash here. Getting down there. A good chunk down the fairway. Brandon Hallsworth trying to uh, scramble here a little bit. Going with the roller anyway. He still wanted that distance. Pretty solid second shot, all things considered. Give himself a look for the birdie still. Pete trying to maybe get a throw in eagle like he did on uh, day one. Something trailing. He was looking. Won't be an eagle, but I'm pretty sure that's a birdie to finish this tournament. Yeah, it's a tough one having that tailwind. Aaron playing something pretty much right at the basket. A little heavy. I'll have a tester putt for his bird. Brandon Coppingen going with the forehand for his upshot. Comes up a little short. Brandon Hallsworth here for his birdie look. Good bid. Good scramble. Coppingen trying to finish his tournament out with a birdie, and he does. Great finish, Brandon. There we go, sir. Love seeing all those forehands off the tee. Yeah, definitely he uh, leaned back and, you know, went back and forth on what he threw off the tee box, which is props to him for having the uh, confidence and ability to throw all those different shots. Aaron trying to finish his J.O. out with a birdie. Just hits basket, but I think he'll be okay, guys. I think he'll be okay. <laughs> Peter finishing off with his uh, picnic basket back there. It's great having you on the lead card for this round, Peter. He does finish with a birdie, too. Congrats on the good tournament, Pete. And Brandon, tied for second this year. Congrats to him, your J.O. winner. Rightfully so, Mr. Aaron Doyle. Congratulations, Aaron. Awesome to see him win it. And there you have it, the exciting conclusion to the 2022 Jacksonville Open with your winner, Aaron Doyle, shooting 25 down. Tied for second place, we got Dakota Mincy and Brandon Hallsworth at 17 under. I'd like to give a quick shout out to all the sponsors that made this tournament possible. And again, greatly appreciated for the opportunity to film this coverage. If you liked everything you saw, if you comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next round.